what is MMA? We have been seeing this question come up quite a bit lately, and we want to tackle this with you today on the Biz Talk. All right. Today we're going to get serious, Tracy. Mm. No jokes. Mm. No messing around. Mm -hmm. MMA, (laughs) mixed martial Martial arts arts today. We're going to talk about mixed martial arts. It's funny because I've mentioned MMA on, I think, on Twitch. And there was, I think, and because I talk about mixed martial arts, even like these fighters that I listen to on podcasts, and I bring that in. And then I think we mentioned MMA one time, and people were like, wait, 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 are you talking about? What are we talking about? (laughs) (laughs) Today we're talking about the chemical. Um, MMA, which stands for methyl methacrylate, okay? And today we're also talking about methyl methacrylate, MMA, in liquid, in monomer, okay? So this is where there's a lot of confusion surrounding it, MMA. It all gets confusing. When you start does. talking chemicals with me, like it's like, just I just want to know what's approved and what I can use. Yeah, totally. I... I completely agree. And so um, so I want to clarify first, okay? The MMA that has this sort of like controversy around mm-hmm. it, we've been getting a lot of questions lately too, like in our DMs and emails, a lot, and a lot, lot, a yeah. lot about it. So we're talking about it in monomer, in nail liquid, okay? Acrylic powders, a lot of people will look at ingredients And what you'll see is like, it'll say polyethyl methyl methacrylate, not an issue. There's never been an issue with this. Um, It's not dangerous. It does not, there's no issues surrounding on acrylic powder. Okay. Any time that the topic comes up of MMA, uh, dangerous um, or illegal in states and so on and so forth, use harmful it's always what we're talking about is in monomer, in the nail liquid. That's okay. what you want to watch out for. Okay, so there's something different that happens between completely, the two. okay, completely in that process of converting into a powder. Um, it completely changes uh, it so that you don't have, you're not going to have the uh, the dangers, the issues, the issues that come with. It being in a liquid, which is what we are going to talk about today and what those are, why, you know, it is illegal in California and many states. Um, What is the problem surrounding it? You know, on, on your side, Tracy, you've, you know, you've had experience and seen it and play with it i don't have that kind of i know what it i know the smell Mm. um and obviously i'm very educated on the issues and problems that have come about with it but um just want to clarify that first like we're talking about the liquid the monomer this is where the issues come about so we've had a lot of questions lately like people asking like hey you know, is MMA okay? And we're like, I'm like, what the heck? No. First of all, no, no, no. never, ever, ever use it. I was ever. always, um, when I came out of school, basically what I was told is MMA is dental acrylic. Is yes, that, exactly. It, okay. That's exactly, you know, um, is what it's used for, okay. you know, is on that side. And I think the primary use is to make, um, like teeth replacement or dentures or that whole field. Yeah. Okay. Which explains why it's so hard. Right. Okay. Exactly. Because you're talking about you're talking about teeth. Yeah. It's got to last. <laughs> it's got you got to chew. It's got to last. You know you got to bite down on things. Um, so that makes sense. But for the nail, like right now, if I'm, if I'm feeling my nail, there's flexibility in my nail. There's like a, you know, I can push into it and there's a little give in my nail. It's not, it's not like my, my teeth, you know, I don't like, you don't want that, but let's talk about this, Tracy. Why, you know, from the doing nails and on that side of things from the salon side, why is MMA a problem? using the liquid, why is it a problem? Well, from what I've seen is it can create 
quite a bit of damage. Yeah. I've seen um, nails, like, it doesn't just break off. It, it takes the nail with right. it um, because it is so hard. Uh, there's issues with removal with it. I find it too yellow. I, you know, so there's problems just in consistency with sure. it for me. The smell, it, to me, it has a sweet smell, mm-hmm. which is interesting, mm-hmm. but it's very potent. And then um, when I've worked on it, not doing it, but like someone come in and I had to work over their nails and I was filing it, my lips actually go numb. Whoa. Yeah. I knew immediately not because you file it, you have a smell. And then my, my lips would always start to like get this tingly numb feeling. And I didn't like that at all. Um, I did not like to work over MMA. I wouldn't, wouldn't, I got to the point where I just wouldn't Nope, Those need to be, you need to have clean nails by the, before you come in because even soaking it or trying to remove it forever. I seen someone actually break their cuticle, uh, their acrylic nippers trying to get it off. Oh my God. Because it's that strong. So that's kind of the, one of the descriptions, right? It's like it bonds like concrete. Yes. You know, you don't want some, look, you want adhesion. Yeah. You you know, you know, kind of in the (laughs) back of my head, I'm like, awesome. It's bonding. You know what I mean? But yeah, but see, but these are the things that we don't think about is like, these are enhancements they're they're put on and then they're um what's it called you have to maintain them which means maintenance is which means you're taking down bulk and and then the other thing too is you want there to be some give Mm -hmm. because if you do like catch your nail on something and you want it to eventually break you don't want your to rip your nail off yeah you want mild flexibility correct you know you need it to bend and give with the natural nail and when you have something that's hard and something that's a little soft and those two worlds just don't combine yeah they don't combine there's you know like there's a reason why um we like if if you look at okay outside of it being illegal in california okay (laughs) Despite, the, despite, that. despite that, you know, obviously that's a huge thing, right? But let's just take that out of the picture for a second. There's a reason why we, you know, young nails, we look at all of these things. We test everything. Yeah. We test everything. And of course, if it's illegal, that takes it out of the question, right? But still, as a, as a company and as a human being, um, I still question things, right? Okay, why is it illegal? So what do we do? You know, we're, we're going to, we test it, we play with it, we look at it. Research. We research. We always do our research. And what I can tell you is that it's, there's a, it's like insanely, insanely inexpensive, right? And that's it's, why people like to use and it. That's why people like to use it. I get that. There's the cost, but it's also like, if, if, if there's a product that can potentially really cause damage to your nails and then makes the job of the nail professional, you know, a little more challenging in terms of removal and maintenance, um, and then things are taking longer and the way that it files and it's lips going numb. I mean, some insane stuff happening here. Yeah. You know, what I mean? you know and maybe not everybody has that, but I, right. I, I tell you, I could minute I started filing it every you know. time I knew and I, I like the fact that you brought up the price point because we've seen people say well I like to use it because the price point is sure. much cheaper for me I would say then you're not charging enough for your nail services right I'm not right. going to strictly use a product because it's cheap right for me then uh you know I I price my my nails where I'm making a good um return on my uh, right. you know return no matter what I'm doing. Right. I think that's a really important point to make, you know, you've, and, and here's the thing too, when you break down per set, you know, how much, uh, you're saving if you're using MMA versus EMA. So, so the, the safe acrylic monomer to use is called E. M A, which, which is, is all very confusing because it has the M A's. Yeah, it ha- exactly. Exa- <laughs> I know, and they can sound very similar. Yeah. But it's ethyl methacrylate versus methyl methacrylate, right? And the the cost savings. So, like when you're per service, 
I mean, I haven't broken it down, but let's say it comes down to, you know, a couple dollars per set. If I'm doing the math in my head, I know you can get like a gallon of MMA for, I don't know, 40, $30, maybe something like that. Yeah. And then we charge, you know, 32 ounces is going to cost 72 or something. 80. Yeah. Some 83, I believe. I think now. Is it? No, no. Opposite. The 660s, 83. Yeah, this it's is like 72, 73, 73, 73. 73 bucks. So when you break it down, the cost, so seven, if you can get a two something. So it's like, you know, uh, geez, what does that come down to? I don't know. You're talking, maybe it's costing you 50 cents per uh, 40 cents uh, per set versus three dollars or four dollars per set right so there's like a there's like a two dollar and 50 60 i don't know what it is i i have to do the math but when you're if you're doing percentages okay yeah there's like a big difference but when you break it down per set if you're charging 15 dollars for a set okay yeah it's gonna make a difference but to tracy's point you're 100 percent correct you should not be charging $15. For I don't care what salon you are. Stop doing that now. Yeah. Okay. You need to charge more money for your, your acrylic. And if you're making more money, if you're charging, you know, let's say you get from that point, let's say you're in the 40, the $50, you have so much margin. You can use quality products. You can use safe products. There's not going to be that issue there. That's a huge point. Yeah. And you know, there are, there are things that some people will, I've, I've seen, like, remember when the Sharpies were the big thing? You'd like on oh, top yeah. of the acrylic and you kind of watercolor it, which really cool. Totally. I saw this whole article and I'm not saying one way or the other, you have to make your own decision that this is bad because it's a Sharpie and I'm like, um, oh, it's on top of enhancement. So there's things that I do, you sure. know, may do, but like when it comes to something like MMA, I wouldn't want my customer because I'm, I'm in California, it's not approved in California. Correct, it's illegal in California. For a client to come in and go, why are you using that on me? This is the information, you know, like yeah. I, I don't even want to have that conversation. Dude. Oh, well, it's cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> well, then why are you charging me $80? Because <laughs> I like money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. So you, you do, I mean, first of all, if you're in California and you're using MMA, you're at the risk of shutting down your salon. And like that's a real thing. Some people don't think that's a real thing. That's a real thing, yeah. man. And the smell, it's so pungent. Mm-hmm. Like it hits. It's so unique. It's very it is, unique. It's funny because um we've been out of country before and um, you know, everybody just huge facilities with a ton of people. Yeah. And the minute someone opens that up, I'm you all, know. I know. Yep, you, you can, can tell. It. You can totally, totally smell it, man. It has a very unique, pungent, like, hit, you know. Um, but you are really putting yourself at risk. Mm-hmm. And there's, it's not, it. it's not worth it. Like, use the safe, um, approved, like, our, and, and there's many, many options of high quality, you know, EMA liquid on the market. We're one of them, right? Yeah. The nails, like we have so much success in the world with our liquid and our powder system. It's it's completely safe. It's just the right flexibility. It's the right amount of like where your nails are going to stay on, um, yet removal and filing them and maintenance, maintenance is not an issue at all. Yeah, I think that's huge, uh, you know, and just the the well-being of your your clients and knowing that you're doing everything um that your state board yes is telling you to do exactly no matter what it is disaffection or products being used all of it dude like the city of anaheim so we're in anaheim right the city of anaheim because we're a manufacturer you know they check in with us surprise all all the time (laughs) right like because a lot of nail polishes for example a lot of people it's funny people don't know nail polishes are flammable you know uh so are so are there's a lot of hair products a lot of beauty products in general are Are flammable flammable. yeah so um the anaheim uh the city of anaheim comes down and says this is what you have to do to store this is what you have to do to keep them labeled this is you know a b c d and e i don't 
I don't tell the department of Anaheim or the fire department, okay, thanks. And then they walk away and I'm going to do what I want because I'm going to save money. Well, you, you know? could, but they'll close you down. <laughs> Dude, they will and shut. fine you. Yes. They have told me, you know, we have a very good relationship with the city of Anaheim. We always have since the very beginning. And I've always been like, yo, tell me what I got to do and we're going to do it. We're going to yeah. follow the rules because that's the way it is. I'm not going to fight against the law <laughs> because I want to keep my business. Right. And how stressful because their inspections are a surprise. Always. They, they don't call you up. Hey, you know, could you just get your crap together? <laughs> we'll be in tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, let's get, you know, so it's a surprise. And how stressful would it be if you knew you weren't doing something you're supposed to? Same thing with state board. Yeah. State board is always a surprise. That's so you, right. they walk in and believe me, they're looking for that stuff. Oh, yeah. They, and they know, mm -hmm. you know, so why have that stress? Even worry about it. I remember... Um, there was one of the guys from the fire department would come down and he would spot check us and I would have just conversations with him and he would tell me, he was like, yeah, I just shut down a, uh, a nail polish company in Anaheim, you know, um, selling nail polishes and they storing it a certain way. And I told them you can't and gave them a warning and find them. And then they did it again. And then we shut them down. Yeah. And it's like, I'm like, not going to do that. This is my business. We have employees. We you you've got to work within the bounds of the law. Yeah. That's non-negotiable. Exactly. And could you save some money by doing it not in the bounds of everybody? The law? I mean, just think of how much you spent on that fireproof room. Room. <laughs> it took us a year to build, and uh, it was very expensive, but. We did it, you know, and it's like I go home and I sleep and peace of, mind. peace of mind. And I think it's the same thing. And if you're a consumer also, it's so important that you are educated and that you walk into the salon that you go into. You should ask questions, no. you know, hey, you know, I just I wanted to know um, what kind of liquid do you guys use? Do you guys use EMA? Do you use MMA? Let use that term. Do you use ethyl methacrylate? Do you use methyl methacrylate? You know, if if you're dropping that kind of vocab, they're gonna be like, oh, she knows. Yeah. You know, hey, we use ethyl. Yeah. We don't use methyl. Um, or if it's if you're if they give you an answer like, oh, I don't know what that is, or what are you talking about, or they're playing dumb, I would probably walk out of that salon. Well, you know, some may not know the exact chemistry because, you know, especially when you're on the spot, you're like, oh, is it ethyl? Is it? But every, MMA, yeah. every nail tech knows whether they're using MMA or not. Because the, absolutely. Because we're very familiar with it. We're taught that straight from school. And you know what I, I will say, Habib, I'm, I'm real happy with? When I first got out of school, it was very common for yeah. salons to use it. And sure. I don't find it to be as common. You're right. Um, and the reason why we're talking about this is because we've been, all these questions have popped up lately. And so we're going to address things that you guys want to know. Yeah. And uh, the short answer is do not use MMA, period, end of story. It In the state of California, it is illegal. I don't have the exact... Um, you know, like nationwide and how many states right. and all this. That's very easy yeah. to look up. You guys can look that up and check to see if it's uh, illegal. Check with your state board. Stay with your state board. Um, and even nationwide. Um, I know it, the laws are constantly changing. We haven't had to actually you know, look deep into this because it's a topic that hasn't come up in the no, last like been, year. It's been a while. It's been a little bit. Um but you should definitely do some research and check. But the bottom line is do not use it. Don't put yourself or your customers in that kind of danger. Stay away from it. Use ethyl methacrylate monomer liquid. Um, and that way you keep yourself safe, your customer safe, your business <laughs> out of trouble. Yep. And um, let us know in the comments below your take on this. Would love to hear your thoughts. And also, if you've got an idea or a topic you want us to discuss, let us know in the comments below. Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. And we'll see you next time on the Biz Talk.